professor Vishnudas Chodankar. So this video is towards the introduction of Python programming. Nowadays Python is used widely in variety of IT industries. It is used to solve the problem such as data analysis for machine learning, for deep learning and for web development using Flask and Django. Here in this session we will be discussing about the major doubts that arises in the minds of students. The first most doubt is that why do we have to learn Python programming language when there are many of the other programming languages that are available. Secondly, can a non-IT student can he learn Python programming language and can he get placed in an IT sector? The non-IT students means the mechanical, automobile, industrial engineering and so on. Once these doubts are clear, we will be moving ahead with the syllabus of this that is what we will be covering up in this particular course. Then we will be studying up the basic definition of what is programming language and the features of Python and we will be ending up with this session. Starting with our first question that is why do we have to learn Python? Now you are watching this video in order to learn Python and solve your assignment or your final year projects. At the end when you pass your engineering using Python skill set you will be looking out for a job in a very reputed companies. In order to understand this job opportunities let's go towards the next figure over here in this particular figure, it shows all the job opportunities of different programming languages. This is a very reliable data that is being obtained from the LinkedIn survey which was been done in the year 2020. If you see over here, the Python provides you with 88k jobs securing the second highest position among these programming languages. If you compare this Python with much more previously developed programming languages such as C, and C++ but C and C++ provides very less jobs as compared to Python which means Python is capturing market more and more and there are very much amount of job opportunities hence if you learn Python you can get placed easily because there are many job opportunities now the second question is can a non-IT student can he learn Python programming and can he get placed in the IT sector yes of course what a recruiter sees is just a basic graduation degree, it can be even the BSc degree and a very good skill set in Python programming for you to get placed in an IT sector. Now the third question is, being a non-IT student, can I learn Python programming language? Yes, of course, you can learn Python programming language right from the basic till the advanced. So here, this particular course is designed in such a way that you will be taught right from the scratch, right from the zero, right from the definition of what is programming language. And from here you will be taken, taken to the advanced level. So in advanced level you will be taught to develop the game applications, the library management systems and so on. Moving ahead with the syllabus over here. If you have a look over here at the syllabus, there are total of 17 videos from which 14 are the chapters and 3 are the projects which are highlighted in red color. In first project we develop a game application. The second is a perfect guess and the last one is library management system. And this is been developed using the advanced python programming commands. So this was all about the syllabus of it. Now if you have accepted the challenge to learn python programming then make a comment saying that yes I have accepted a challenge to learn python programming. Now that all your doubts are clear, let's move ahead with the first definition that what is programming language. I am communicating with you in English and you are understanding it. So this language is nothing but the medium of communication between us. In the same way, if I want to communicate with a PC, I will be requiring a medium and this medium is nothing but the programming language. So using this, I command the PC to do the task. This task can be machine learning, it can be deep learning, it can be web development using Flask and Django and so on. Now some of the examples of programming languages are C, C++, Python and so on. But what distinguishes Python from other programming language making it used so widely? Quite obvious its features. So the first feature is its simplicity and ease of coding. Python is a pseudocode which means it's just like a very simple English. 
If any new code has been given to you, you can just read the code and you can make out what it is designed for. The second feature is the compactness of lines of code. If you want to develop a program in C and C++, it takes around 15 lines. But the same program if I develop in Python, it will hardly take me 5 lines. Which means I can develop very big programs in Python with a very small code. That's all. The third feature is it is open source. Which means it is free of cost. You can just download it and you can start using. Hence many of the education institutes are using this because they need not pay any penny for it to use it. Then the last feature is its compatibility. The Python is compatible in all the operating system that is Windows, Mac, Linux and so on. The next slide is on applications of Python programming. The first application is web development. You can develop the web pages based on your requirements. Secondly, it is used in desktop application to design the application based on your desktop requirements. It is also used in database access, network programming, game development and 3D graphics. When you start learning this particular course, you should remember some few points. First is you have to be focused. Second point is that you have to give at least one hour from your daily routine. If you give one hour from your daily routine, this course will be completed within 20 days. Then the third point is make a habit to revise it regularly. Revising this regularly will make you well versed with this course. And lastly, Google is your best friend. If you have any doubts, type in the Google and get it solved. Even I do use Google for my reference. In this course, you will be provided with all the study materials. The study materials can be either the notes or it can be the codes. After every session, what you have to do is just go in the description box and find the link for those study materials and download it. Thank you all for watching this video. If you have liked this video, do hit the like button below and do subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends and your family members. Keep learning, keep coding.